It's a pandemic. So leaving our apartment in the last three months has been a pretty rare event. So that means there's no spending money on uh, movies or dining out or plays or any of the fun stuff that we normally do in San Francisco. So spending a little more money on a, on a really nice Irish whiskey seems necessary. Necessary? Is it necessary for me to drink my own urine? Probably not. No, but I do it anyway because it's sterile and I like the taste. Okay, let's do this. Welcome to Whiskey Roast. I'm Kevin, and today we're going to look at a nice pot still Irish whiskey that is certainly not uh, cheap. You can tell just by this container, by this heavy wooden box, that there's a little cost involved in just the packaging alone. And you see, if you open it up, you've got these nice little doors. Uh, a beautiful presentation of the bottle, and even a little pamphlet. But the small things that they did in some of this packaging is pretty interesting. So if you look at the back of this uh, box, there is actually a little peg on the bottom, wooden peg for this little glass notch, which means that when this bottle is put in this container, that there's no way to screw it up and not have the label showing forward snap it in lovely marketing really great job um, this is a middleton very rare irish single pot still whiskey and it's the barry crockett legacy edition now middleton has um, a very rare edition and certainly a lot of other higher end whiskeys that they make at their distillery that are under the Middleton name, because there's also other uh, whiskeys that are made there, Jameson and, and Redbreast and Greenspot. So this is the distillery name on a bottle. And I was looking at the very rare and said, well, that looks like a really nice whiskey to get. I, I, I should invest in a, in a top of the line Irish whiskey. And then I saw the Barry Crockett legacy. And of course, you try to look at some ratings online or some reviews and it's such a subtle difference in the two. But I figured, you know, I don't know how, uh, how long the Barry Crockett Legacy is going to be out there. So I went ahead and, and grabbed this one. Now this bottle uh, cost me $229. So this is not one of the, uh, hey, I like Irish whiskey, I should just buy a bottle. You probably should know what you're getting into and you probably should know the cost involved in this kind of a whiskey, but I think it's uh, well worth it for a lot of reasons. Let's take a look at the uh, little pamphlet that they give you with it. Now, when you open it up, it's got Barry Crockett Legacy, and then it talks about Barry Crockett, who was a, um, a distiller at Middleton, and now he's a master distiller emeritus. So he started... Um, doing this for almost, he's been doing this for almost 50 years. And I guess he took it over from his father, who's Max Crockett. So they have a little blurb about him. And then they talk about the uh, little, little marketing blurb about the finest whiskey. And then they give you a little tasting notes for your nose and your taste and your finish. This is bottled at 46% uh, ABV, it's 92 proof. So the Middleton Distillery, uh, which I've talked about in, in other videos, uh, it goes back to, 1825 when it actually started 
their uh, whiskey process. The distillery buildings are much older and with a lot of distilleries, it seems like they started off as wool mills or woolen mills and then they were used for other things. This one was used for uh, a military complex. Uh, you can even see the barracks if you go there and, and when we visited, it was a really great tour. So really nice little uh, pamphlet, good information, feels really nice. Everything on this uh, packaging feels really nice. They've done a fine job of marketing and letting you uh, feel good about spending over $200 on a bottle of whiskey. And if you kind of count this whole presentation and, and the bottle and the box and, and just the, the introduction to the whiskey, which is what this is. When you're tasting whiskey, a lot of times what you experience first is with your eyes. When I open this up, my expectations go up as to what I'm going to experience. This is not a $20 Irish whiskey. This is a $200 Irish whiskey in a nice container. And even the bottle, I love the shape of the Middleton bottle. Just speaks volumes for their, for their marketing. Really good job. Enough about the, the materials in the, in the box and the bottle. Let's see how this thing actually tastes. As with a lot of Irish pot still whiskeys, I get that um, buttery uh, cookie note. A lot of butter, a little bit of citrus, maybe like a, um, a lime citrus. There's a little bit of, uh, you, can, you can get the little oak spice on the nose. And there's other green fruits, maybe like a, like a green apple. It's coming through on this too. The butter layer first, then the uh, little hint of citrus on the side, and then that, that apple, that green apple comes up from the bottom. Oh. I really love the, uh, the nose on this. I don't know if I could um, tell the difference between the expensive Irish whiskey and the cheap Irish whiskey in a tasting. Let me know in the comments if you would actually want me to do a comparison, expensive to cheap Irish whiskey, uh, and probably embarrass myself. So it's got a lot of flavor on the first taste. There's, um, there's that spiciness from the oak that I'm getting. And that lingers in the aftertaste. Definitely can um, taste all the flavors that you got on the nose. I think that the citrus changes a little bit. For me, it's like a um, it's a little more bitter, like a blood orange. It's very easy to drink. There's not a lot of um, punching and, and abuse in this kind of a, a whiskey. This is a sipping Irish whiskey. I definitely get all those fruit flavors, but they're more of the unripe fruits. They're, they're not so sweet. This is not perfumey. To me, this is more of a, um, a warm hug from a, from a, a buttery cookie with, uh, with a plate of sliced fruits or maybe some, some grapes that are, are a little on the, uh, on the unripe side. really nice layers. I'm getting even a bit of a cinnamon spice now after a few tastes and that cinnamon really settles in uh, and, and fits really well with the with the butter cookie type flavors. This is a this is a pleasant overall experience and if you are a fan of Irish whiskey if you've tried a few different uh, Middleton whiskeys uh, or if you like a I would say like a red breast um, even a tealing pot still which I which I had recently 
they're comparable and this is just more nuanced and has a lot of variety in there. Now I have some other Irish whiskeys too. So if you want me to do a comparison, the, just maybe a tasting of multiple Irish whiskeys, let me know in the comments. Um, if you want me to do another blind tasting, I'm up for that too. If you enjoyed it last time, again, hit me in the comments and give me a like and subscribe so that I know you're interested in these type of videos. hardest part about having an expensive whiskey around that you really enjoy is balancing out the but I really enjoy it so I'd like to drink more of it but it's really expensive so I'd like to save it but it's a really nice whiskey so I'd like to drink more of it I don't know <sighs> these are first world problems I'll tell you that cheers certainly been uh, a stressful time for a lot of people. I hope you're taking care of yourself and your family and you're surrounding yourself with virtual friends, getting online with them, social distancing, just in, in trying to get as much out of this time as we can. Yeah, Fred, I don't, I don't like that. Yeah, I, I don't like that. I don't like that. That doesn't work.